So hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to do a review of this uh, uh, Brihevi digital photo frame. I just want to mention the video is not sponsored by the company. I purchased it on Amazon as you can see over here. So let's get into the unboxing. So as we can see the box is not very interesting for the price that I paid which is uh, £129 here in the UK. I was expecting more um, from this box. Here on the side there is uh, there's the digital photo frame and uh, on the other side same and the back is quite plain but the most important let's see what's inside so let's open this one yeah and uh, we see that also this one is not packed really nice we see here a charger which looks extremely cheap in my opinion also for this price i think this is the stand but it feels very very cheap and also the plastic inside, I was expecting to get more for this money, significantly more. And uh, let's open up this and see how it looks. So this is how the tablet looks from the front, but well, nothing impressive. It has this uh, plastic part over here, which uh, uh, tells you that this is, the, this is how it's supposed to stay like this. And let's see what's at the back. Uh, we have uh, the screws just in case you want to mount it on the wall and uh, here we can put the stand basically you just have to screw it nothing impressive and uh, we have here a speaker i'm not really sure what this one does so these are the ports we have the uh, on off button we have the micro sd card mind that it supports uh, up to 32 giga we have the usb another usb uh, this is a usb type c and uh, we have the power cable so now let's make a test. Uh, I put some pictures on this uh, USB and we're gonna plug the USB over here and then we have to power this on. We need to attach the power cable and uh, let's see the quality. So let's power this on. Here is the port for the power cable which uh, and the length of the cable is quite decent in my opinion and let's attach also this uh, stand. I thought that this one is a bit flexible but in fact it's not. So uh, uh, here we have the power button and I suppose it's supposed to start already. Yeah, and it goes like this. I'll just remove the stand because uh, it's not comfortable for this uh, video. So, and this is how much it takes to load. You get also a notification. And basically, yeah, you can connect it to the uh, wireless. We're gonna skip for now. You can select the language we're gonna skip for now. Uh, you get uh, some information about the device. We will continue, continue, and we're gonna skip for now. I just did this uh, to show you guys, and we're gonna skip. And uh, here we go. Uh, it's a pretty standard Android on this one, so you can use for different uh, things. You can also play videos, set the alarm, set the clock. We've got some settings over here. The menu looks uh, very cool, in my opinion. And it's really interesting that you can also connect it to the wireless. And let's uh, check uh, some pictures that we have here on the USB. That's really interesting. Once I plug the USB, I can uh, already see in this uh, area where the, uh, where the thumbnail is. I can al already see the pictures. So if I go on this one and I press, I can see the first picture. Uh, it's a full HD display, 8 inch. Uh, so far from what I can see I'm not uh, really impressed but mind there is something important to, uh, for a better quality of the picture you have to remove the foil which comes from with the foil on top uh, the screen is pretty responsive and uh, I'm pretty sure you can do some certain settings to uh, make them uh, slide automatically and uh, maybe some other effects and uh, yeah let's go out of here and uh, you can also access the SD card this is the USB and also you can uh, select favorites and the internal storage has uh, 8 uh, giga which in my opinion is pretty good for this type of uh, tablet you can uh, store quite a lot of uh, pictures so this is how the tablet looks from the front with the stand mounted on as you can see this is the position and I'll just put it here on the side for you guys to see the angle mind uh, uh, the stand is not flexible so this is everything that you get so uh, yeah, basically that's it. So overall thoughts about this tablet, I'm a bit disappointed because uh, for the price I paid for, I don't consider it to be uh, impressive. The box doesn't look really nice and also the tablet uh, looks quite cheap. 
so uh, i hope you found this video helpful guys if you have any questions please uh, leave them in the comment section below and i will answer thank you for watching and see you next time